everybody, it's Carrie. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video um, showing you how I'm converting all of my wood mount stamps, um, Stampin' Up! wood mount stamps to um, the new um, plastic cases that now Stampin' Up! is offering. And I'm just showing you the process of um, how I'm doing that and I'm getting them organized. And um, I will say that these cases are really, really nice. Um, they've got the, the half size and the full size. This is one I've already I've already done but um, now and I wanted to also say that the inserts um, don't come with the cases the these little inserts in here um, don't come with the cases I will share with you in the description box uh, bar below who you can look for on YouTube um, and she can email you the PDFs I actually just came across her as I was just researching YouTube or whatever on these cases and seeing if anyone else has gotten them and what they thought. But anyway, I ran across her video. Like I said, I'll put her name below the description bar. And um, she has she's offering to send, if you want the PDFs, um, this is the PDF that she's sending. And you can print them out and then cut them to size or whatever and put them in your cases. Um, she's offering to email them to you if you give your email to her she will email them to you so um, anyway and that's what I've done and um, um, so once I got my cases then um, I printed them out and cut them to size and then I'm just stamping the images on the outside and i um, and I've gotten four done here um, I've gotten um, this is uh, Cheap Talk and Upsy Daisy and then um, the beloved <laughs> Trini Trees or excuse me, lovely as a tree. Um, I'm about to do Trini trees for you, just just to show you what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, here's um, lovely as a tree. So I've gotten those four done, and I thought I would um, just show you from like a little start to finish here. Um, you can just, like I said, I've already printed out the inserts. I did this yesterday, but today I was going to stamp on them, and um, I'm just taking the inserts and then just stamping all the images. Um, onto the, the outside here and um, so I just wanted to demonstrate I guess for you that so I'm just trying to stamp each one and um, get them all on here have to kind of be strategic with this because you want to make sure that you're getting all of your images onto here hopefully I can I should be able to get all my images images on here because of course you know used to um, obviously um, just with the clear mount the images that were on the clear mount stamps um, they're a little bit I believe smaller in size and of course they print them on there so um, the stamps themselves I don't believe now I could be wrong um, are not full sized images but anyway so I'm just going to finish this up here and get all these greetings on here. Got one more left, and then um, and then I'll just slip the insert in. Just line it up, and then put my stamps in. Clean them off right quick. forget one yeah I forgot one but I'll add it again <laughs> okay and then I'll just fit them all in here they fit fairly good I mean um, I did buy more of the smaller cases than I probably should have so I'll have to buy some more of the full size, but that's no big deal. So, all right, and then just close up the case, and then there you go. And um, it's on the side there, and how, of how many stamps are in each set, and um, all that. So I thought it was really, really a nice way to convert all your stamps, and um, they'll stack up real nicely, um, you know, against each other, or whatever, and um, look real nice whenever you're organizing your stamps in your craft room so anyway just a real quick video I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, if you have any questions or comments just leave them below 
and I appreciate y'all stopping by. Thank you. Bye.